Here with Orioles pitcher Jason Burke. And Jason, talk about the excitement around opening of spring training and, and what it's like for the players to get here and, and see everybody again. Yeah, it's always an exciting time of the year. It's, uh, you kind of get that itch, start throwing, start getting on the mounds, uh, throwing your bullpens, and um, mentally preparing yourself for, uh, for another long stretch. And I'm excited. It's a, it's a great time to uh, be down in Sarasota in some warm weather. And um, I'm just excited to be a part of this. Talk about the offseason as a player, seeing the guys that the Orioles brought in with Derek Lee, Mark Reynolds, and uh, some of the other guys, Kevin Gregg. What went through your mind as a player when you see the team adding those kind of players and that kind of talent? Yeah, it's exciting. I think it just shows that their uh, de you know, dedication to winning is, is definitely there. Um, obviously, Buck came in last year, and, and things seem to turn around for us. And it's, it's, it's an exciting time to be part of the Orioles right now. It's an exciting time to be in Baltimore. And the guys that we've added have been uh, uh, veteran guys who have, who have won and have done it for a long time. So I'm anxious and excited just to, um, to be, you know, be with them, learn from them, ask them questions, pick their brains, because you know, for them to be able to do this for so long and at such a high level is something that's going to be a huge asset to our team. They talk about the influence that bringing back Koji O'Hara and adding Kevin Gregg will be for the back end of the bullpen and Jim Johnson back healthy again. What, what does that mean for you know the Orioles as a whole, having that the back end of the bullpen be that solid? I think there's a lot of guys that have you know have pitched in in the back end as far as closer or setup guys. So we have a lot of versatility in the bullpen, and I was able to kind of lean on some of the older guys last year, like Mark Hendrickson, to kind of get me through that first year in the bullpen. So for, for us to be able to uh, to add a guy like Kevin Gregg and have Koji back and Jim back, it's just good for myself to kind of look at these guys and and to pick their brains and and see why um, you know they've been successful for so long. So I'm anxious. I'm excited to be a part of that a part of the bullpen. I think it's going to be a uh, you know a very strong part of our team. Now as a native of Wisconsin the last three or four weeks here have to be a pretty exciting time for you yeah it's, it's uh, very exciting I'm a huge Packer fan born and raised in Green Bay which has been well documented so uh, it's awesome I think people don't realize how much uh, you know the Packers mean to the city of Green Bay and the state of Wisconsin it's uh, I think it means a little more to those fans so for us to be able to win a Super Bowl is is pretty awesome it's pretty special and uh, you know, I'm proud to be a Packer fan now is it true that you actually had Super Bowl tickets available to you, but you didn't want to go because you didn't want to miss a workout in the off season? Yeah, well, unfortunately, my first bullpen of the year was, was Super Bowl Sunday, so and I was I was coming down here on Tuesday, so timing wise, it didn't work out for me, and you had to prioritize a little bit. And obviously, baseball and, and the Orioles come first, so unfortunately, I was not able to go to the Super Bowl, but I was able to go to Chicago and watch a game at Soldier Field where the Packers took care of uh, the Bears. So it was uh, it was fun and. Uh, hopefully next year the Packers are back in the Super Bowl. Have a chance to go then. Very good. Thanks, Jason.